Thank you to the Stevens and to all those who help us to make worship possible. Whether you are worshiping with us in person or online, it's, it's a joy to share in so many gifts and graces of so many different people different parts and, and persons in our, in, our, in our community of faith. As we go into this scripture and dive deeply into this, this final Sunday in this sermon series, let us begin by going together to God in prayer. Would you pray with me? Holy and loving God, we thank you for the gift of your abiding presence and your grace in the midst of all the moments of life for the ways that you call us to share in the work of building your peaceable kingdom in, in whatever ways we are gifted and capable of. Lord, we, we pray that as we sit with this story of, of an offering of self, that you would be present with us, that you would open our ears to hear and our eyes to see, and that you would help our hearts to be transformed. All of this we pray in the name of Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. We've been spending a lot of time over the last several weeks sitting with this understanding and this reality of, of God's abundance, the narrative of abundance that God weaves into the world around us and into our lives, as opposed to the narrative that the world would try to tell us that is one of scarcity, one that's driven out of fear. We have looked at some tremendous and beautiful stories from, from Noah offering up some of the animals on the ark to the feeding of the 5,000, which is, is such a beautiful story of, of the wonders that, that God can do with, with little. We even have, have sat with Shifra and, and Pua, the, the Hebrew midwives that saw to the flourishing of their people in as they are enslaved in Egypt, even though Pharaoh worked to maintain political and social power. And we find ourselves before this passage, this passage of a widow who offers up these two simple coins, this, this powerful and meaningful gift that Jesus reflects on, naming that it is, it is a greater gift than, than all of the rich people who have come before her. Because it's not out of an abundance that she gives, but it is out of, out of what little that she has that she gives. It is, it is a fullness of her giving that shows up. And we come before this story on, on a Sunday that is filled with so much celebration. The celebration of 25 years in, in ministry, in this place, in this community, and with one another. Now, we may not have been here for all of it. I certainly haven't been here for all of it. We've been blessed throughout this worship time together to hear from different pastors in the past of the church. But, but we all share in the work and wonder of what God has done and continues to do and is, has yet to do in the life of the church. Something that is, that is, that is made real to us in, in the fact that, that today we... We, we pray over and, and we offer this gift of scripture to, to third graders, to young people in our church as we seek to, to continue building the foundations of faith in their life and to share with them this life-giving space that scripture can be. Something that, that we're going to be praying over them uh, for and, and, and praying with them for as they begin this, this, this exploration of of, of the unfolding and revealing of who God is and who we are in relation to God and, and what God is doing by the work and wonder of the Spirit in their lives. And the foundations that we set up, the things that we give and offer that, that tie into this story in Luke's Gospel, this fullness of this woman's offering, it unfolds in so many ways. We know the impact that our financial giving can make, and it's an important and meaningful piece. There's a, there's a reason that we mail out those estimate of giving cards, and we ask you to help us plan for the ministry that we can live into in the, in the next year. And, and, we, and we ask you to share in the work of ministry that way, because there are tangible needs of the church to have lights that work. To be able to, to use technology to, to share in ministry with one another, to live into those things. But there are also 
these, these other tangible things of offering Bibles to third graders and, and being a space for them to explore and, and ask questions and dig deep into the realities of faith being present in our, in our prayers for them and, and in our presence with them and as, as they grow up in, in this community of faith and share in, in this space, whether it's online right now or in person as well. That gift of being present and offering what we can out of the fullness of who we are and out of the fullness of what we have be it our passions, our gifts, our prayers, our presence, our talents, our, our witness, the story, the narrative that is written in our lives, and, and even the, the things that we bear witness to in the lives of others, that is a, a meaningful and powerful piece to share. You know, it, it was years ago that uh, as, as a child in my grandmother's house, I was, I was playing communion, uh, pretending with stuffed animals arranged in rows as if they were in pews and, and, and just bread pulled from the cabinet and whatever juice it was. I, I had some sort of liquid there that uh, my aunt walked into the room, my Aunt Sarah. And when she walked into the room, she didn't chastise me for what I was doing. Of course she wouldn't do that. Uh, she was a, a deep and abiding woman of faith who had a complicated relationship with the church. But she came into that room and named what it was that she saw. And as I grew up and as I grew older and, and began exploring Scripture more and more and began uh, unfolding the, the realities of a call on my life. She continued to name those things. She continued to offer this narrative, not, not only to me, but, but in doing so, offering it to God by, by being willing to participate and to name the unfolding of the work of the Spirit in front of her. And those foundations that were laid, be it from the third grade Bible, or an aunt that, that says, someday you may be doing that in, with and, and for a, a, a church community. Those can make a real difference in the lives of those people that were around. That's the power of, of 25 years in ministry. It's the power of, of the fullness of Christian community. It's, it's the meaningfulness of why it is that we commit to participate in, in the life of the church together. It's why stewardship matters. It's because we know that these small little moments of investing in, in the community, of investing in life with each other, of investing in, in faith and, and in the narrative of God's love with one another, it is important and it transforms forms lives and, and makes a difference in the lives of those around us. Because the fullness of, of that promise that we journey through life with one another rather than alone is made true. Because just as in a few moments we will be praying with one another and for those in our community, we, we know that, that we don't have to journey through this alone. That there is a sharing, not, not only in what needs to be done, but in the joys that unfold from what it is that we are able to do. So friends, you may come to that, to that treasury box, whatever it may look like, with whatever it is that you have been blessed with. And you may be surrounded by an abundance or you may feel as though what it is that you bring to that, to that place, to that space where we offer God our gifts, you may feel as though it is not enough, but I promise you that if you give out of the fullness of your heart, in the fullness of what that means, and I'm not just talking about financial gifts. So many, so many folks here, 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 clergy speak of giving and think we're only talking of financial gifts. But, but I am, I am truly meaning in terms of your prayers, your presence, your gifts, your service, your witness, all of it, the fullness of who you are. If you give from that place of, of longing and, and, and. 
and love and joy and compassion, even of hope, that it makes a tremendous difference. I know I, I am overjoyed to be present with you and, and, and to get to share in these things with you, to get to share in this in this giving of self, this bearing witness to the work and wonder of God, this sharing in the life of the church with you. And I hope and I pray that along with transformative moments like these where we, will, where we pray over, over third graders receiving the gift of scripture and, and we pray over those in our community that, that long for healing or hope or we we simply gather together to acknowledge the work and wonder of God that, that you, will, you will join in sharing in the fullness of this life, of this journey with me and, and with, with all of us who are a part of this community because we know that the love of God is transformative and it's worth working together to share in. Let us pray. Gracious and loving God, we thank you for the ways that you bless us, for the ways that you enrich our lives, from those who impact our, our lives early on to those that continue to make a difference in, in the realities of our days. We pray that you would embolden us by your spirit to share in the work and wonder that you weave in, in this community of Rogers through the church and beyond the church. We pray that you would empower us to hear truly echoed over our lives that, that promise that, 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 that we are enough, that you call us as we are. All of this we pray in the name of Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen.